time now for our community update with Appleton Police Chief Todd Thomas, who joins us now. Now, Chief, the city of Appleton saw several protests over the death of George Floyd. This resulted in community conversations with the police department. Right, yeah, we've had uh, mostly peaceful protests. Uh, we've been able to have a couple conversations already locally in the community about that. Um, really good one last week that uh, was pretty emotional. Um, I think people really got down to the raw feelings. So now we move from that part uh, of the of the discussion to some conversations about change and what are we going to do um, to make things better. We've uh, we revisited our policies. We've uh, put some things on our website. Uh, tried to make some change and and we're gonna to continue to listen and take that input and then adjust what we do uh, according to what we hear. Yeah, what changes are people asking for? A lot of what we hear is uh, questions uh, that they're hearing maybe on the media or the national discussion about, do you have body cameras? What's your policy on this? Uh, do you follow these protocols? And, and generally, um, most agencies in this area have been for, for decades. We, we've never, I've never trained in a chokehold in 35 years. We don't have them in Wisconsin. Um, we've got body cameras for about 15 years. We, we publicize all of our policies on our website. So uh, we created another website, um, or another link on our website called Inquire, uh, Inform, and Improve. Uh, the first thing you have to do is ask questions. So we, we have a place where people can go and ask questions of me. Um, I can answer the questions and from that we can kind of get a feel for what the community needs and what, they're, what, what questions they have for us to answer. Have a lot of people been utilizing that? Yeah, I'd encourage you to go to it. It's right on our website, uh, the bottom banner on the left hand side. Uh, mm -hmm. Just click on it and we're posting all of the questions we get. We've got maybe 15 or 20. We added a, another five or six questions and answers uh, yesterday. Um, so we'll continue to do that and update that where people can go and, and have their questions answered. Now you are rolling out a new program, the Police Chiefs Community Advisory Board, which you are first revealing right here on Local 5 this morning. Right, this is pretty exciting. Um, in the past, we've occasionally had community boards we've brought together, maybe to help look at a policy or help us create a strategic plan. This is going back you know, 35 years to Chief Gorski. Uh, well, we haven't had one that's been standard and ongoing, where we have the same group of community members involved in advising the chief on policy decisions and procedures and, uh, and being a sounding board for the chief. So we are creating the chief's advisory board uh, in the city of Appleton. Uh, we will, we're working out the details now. We've got uh, kind of the framework set. Uh, we'll put something out uh, seeking community members to apply for the board. Uh, it'll be a volunteer position and we're going to look for people from across the community, not just the people that we, we normally hear, the normal stakeholders, but we want citizens, uh, some of these young people that have been involved in the protests that have a strong voice and have a lot to say. I want them on my advisory board um, so that I can bounce ideas off of them and, and get a better feel for what the community wants on an ongoing basis. Now the city has also seen an increase in drug overdose dose deaths. Tell us about that. Right. Um, you know, that's something we continue to work on. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussions that you're hearing nationally about defunding police. Um, but we've had nine people die from drug overdose deaths in the last couple months in Appleton, just the city of Appleton. Uh, our community in our community survey a couple years ago said that is the number one issue they want us to work on. So we've got a lot of programs in place um, to try to help those people. I would encourage you to go to our website uh, look at our law enforcement addiction assistance program. Um, you know, we fast track treatment for people that are struggling uh, that have an addiction. Um, so that is something that we're going to continue to work on uh, and, and hopefully uh, we can uh, knock down those numbers and eliminate them in the long run. All right, thank you so much for joining us today, Chief. We appreciate your time coming here. Thanks. Thank